BBC has done teaching videos to 11 and 12 year olds where they say there are 100 genders. One of them was astrogender, which is an affinity with the stars and the galaxy. My response to that on the last show I did was to say, well, in that case, I identify as a two spirit penguin. I was then told I was being ridiculous, but I made the same point. The ridiculousness is the BBC teaching kids there are a hundred genders. There aren't. It is absurd. Bring back uh, Tommy Lahren. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you are feeling good. Today we'll be checking a video from Piers Morgan titled, I can identify as black lesbian. Piers Morgan on gender identity. Wow. I believe this is going to be another interesting one. Let's check it out. Go. Well, join me now is the author and commentator Angelica Mallet, Talk TV's Esther Krakow and Fox News contributor Tommy Lahren. So, Tommy Lahren, let me start with you. Two, two people in Britain today who've been at the forefront of not saying what a woman is. One is Nicola Sturgeon, the ex-First Minister of Scotland who lost her job because of this ridiculous farce of a rapist self-identifying. Um, she tweeted today, proud on International Women's Day to visit my old University of Glasgow and banged on about women's rights. Uh, this is the woman who just literally lost her job for allowing a male rapist into a female prison. And Sakir Starmer, who's leader of the opposition, Labour Party here, uh, was talking about protections for women in Parliament today, and yet he refuses to say what a woman is. Where are we with this? How has it come that leaders of parties in countries like the UK, and we see a lot of it in America as well, just won't say what a woman is? Well, first of all, I have to apologize to you because all of this wokeness originates here in the United States of America and then we export it to you in the yes, UK. Yes, you're to blame. So we started this really in, in America. Yes, we are. You know, the wokeness starts here and then it, of course, moves over and now you guys have to deal with it. The world has to deal with it. But I say this, I'm proud to celebrate International Women's Day because I know what a woman is. So I would say, if you don't know what a woman is, you don't get to celebrate it. You don't get to pretend to be a feminist when it's helpful to you or helpful to your political narrative. You have to be able to define what a woman is. This is all a farce. They are seeking to erase women, and this is the radical rainbow mafia, as I call it. This is not your average LGBT activist. This is the rainbow mafia section of that radical LGBTQ movement that has made women less than and then has elevated all of this transgenderism and all of this pick your gender, identify as potato. They have hijacked the women's rights movement, the feminist movement, and actual feminists should be really pissed off about it. Well, as a feminist, I am. Um, I recently interviewed uh, Angelica, the Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak, and I asked him this question, which seems to stump many other leaders. Here's the clip. What is a woman? We know that Nicola Sturgeon can't answer that. We know Keir Starmer can't answer that. You're the British Prime Minister. What is a woman? Yeah, I, of course I know a woman is adult human female. It's not difficult, is it, Angelica? I mean, that is what a woman is. I mean, I don't know why you're obsessed with defining it. Like, what, what is a man? Like, why do we need these arbitrary... A man is a male adult human. I mean, that's it. Right, OK, I don't know that we need... These, these, these are just these biological facts, but they're just facts. They're not, they're not arguable points, are they? Well, but you, I think we have a right to self-identify. And I, you said As you what? want to... As if, what? Well, if you'd on. like to be a woman, you can identify as a woman. I don't know why there is such an issue around... We've that. literally just seen a male rapist use that scam to get himself put into a female prison where he could attack vulnerable women inside a female prison when even his ex-wife said it was all a scam. Which is a terrible, very distressing, isolated incident. And I think it's easy to take that and say, that means that no, no, no one can identify as a woman. But and it's that's, not an isolated not incident, though. But, but it, it's... it's 42% it's, it's it's of, of trans-identifying prisoners in prison are in there for sex crimes. There's actually an advantage, evidently, to identifying as a female, because they never identify as male, because somehow male prisons seem less appealing to them. It's really weird. Anyway, but is it, that's is actually it Is it limitless, right this self-identity? It's not totally limitless. What's the but when, limit? you're, when you're talking about International Women's Day, I don't know why we take the, the conversation around International Women's Day and make it about this. But if anyone, there's so many benefits. Right, but if to anyone, according day, to you, can identify as a woman, anyone can, right? I, I don't see a problem with. Just literally put the hand up and say, "I'm a woman." But it, it's not an easy thing to do to go out into Actually, the world. It's very easy. Very easy. <laughs> so like, you might think it's easy to say, but to decide to do that, to say, "What this is doing it involved?" Whatever that person decides, but to Doesn't go out into the world up? and say, I, I don't identify as perhaps the sex so I was born as... So why can't I identify... Not... OK, why can't I identify as a black lesbian? <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, firstly, I mean, it was... I'm serious. Her. I'm serious. If I can identify as anything mm -hmm. without any need to prove I'm actually what that is, I, I why think... can't I, on International Women's Day, say, I'm Piers Morgan, I'm a black lesbian? I think taking it to a kind of absurd no, status... No, no. I think, where I think we're that's talking what... talking about quite a With respect, I think that you would already opened the absurdity door by saying it is limitless. You can do what you like. Anyone can say... I'm a woman. So I simply ask you, why can't I? I mean, this point kind of ridicules trans people to an extent. Actually, I think, I think what you think said ridicules trans people. Because actually, people who, who go through the full process of transition, who actually go through what we used to call a sex change, which I don't think you can muck around with original biology, but those who actually go through surgical procedure over a number of years, I've got great respect for that very difficult journey they go on. I have zero respect for people who just wallop their hand up and go suddenly... I'm a woman and I want all the rights that a woman has and I want to compete, say, in sport. I'm a six-foot, four-inch athlete, sprinter, swimmer, whatever, who's competed very mediocrely in male sport and I want to come in and crush women in swimming pools and in sprinting events and break all their records, perhaps irrevocably, just by saying, I'm a woman. I think that is the absurdity you were talking about. My response was to say, well, if it's limitless... Why can't I then say whatever I want to say? And you say immediately, as I knew you would, well, that's ridiculous. But my point is, you were being ridiculous. Well, that, that's your opinion. You can think I'm ridiculous, but I don't think you can say, well, it has to I don't know why post. I am, but you're not. You're, I, I don't think you have to say it's post-op is the only way that someone's allowed to identify well, the, the trans. The original standard for, for us on, to the decide. The original standard for being transgender was being diagnosed with gender dysphoria which is a legitimate condition. And now it's been, oh, however way you feel. So if you feel on Tuesday you're a woman and on Thursday you're a pizza, that's perfectly valid. But to you, that's ridiculous. And I, I want to know why that is ridiculous. We should be talking about actual women on International Women's Day. That's not crazy. I mean, I agree. I think, but uh, what, your idea of an actual woman... Uh, the I chromosomes. Mean, it's pretty it's, a, it's an adult female. It's not difficult. The chromosomes are a pretty good indication. I don't think you have to be biologically female to identify then as Then you a woman. are wrong, because then I can identify as a fox. Yeah. But again, it's you a can. kind of absurd point. Well, how many, like, well let me ask you this. Let me ask you this, Angelica. How many genders are there? Two. There are two genders? Oh. Wow. So you don't believe in transgenders at all? Well, I think, I think there are well, two genders. Whoa, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. There are two genders? Well, it's taught in... Well, why did you say well? You've literally just launched this huge defence of transgenderism. Now you've eradicated it. I think there's... If there are two genders, you mean male and female, right? There's, there's gender fluidity. I, I will... F fluid between what? Between what? Between different identities, and we can choose different what, identities. You see how difficult this is, though? But it is difficult, but I think making... But it's not difficult until you make it difficult. You see, the BBC has done teaching videos to 11- and 12-year-olds where they say there are 100 genders. One of them was astrogender, which is an affinity with the stars and the galaxy. My response to that on the last show I did was to say, well, in that case, I identify as a two-spirit penguin. I was then told I was being ridiculous, but I made the same point. The ridiculousness is the BBC teaching kids there are a hundred genders. There aren't. It is absurd. Bring back uh, Tommy Lahren, who I imagine is hyperventilating over there in America. Um, Tommy, I mean, look, I don't see why, if it's limitless, I can't just say I'm Piers Morgan, I'm a black lesbian. Because that is where limitless self-identity takes us. It means that male rapists can say they're women and get into, into female prisons. It means I can say I'm a two-spirit penguin or a black lesbian and... Why can't I? Because that is where it takes you. Well, it certainly does, and I think you just had the perfect argument there. It's impossible to define, and it's impossible to stand up for because it's a mockery of what actual people are. And furthermore, going back to children, when this happens at a young age, when you start trying to convince kids that they don't know what gender they are or they're born in the wrong body at 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 years old, that's child abuse. All right, gender affirming care wherein you only tell somebody they can be whatever they want to be regardless of their biology at a young age, that is child abuse. It's happening in the UK, it's happening in the US, and this is making room for groomers to groom young people, to confuse the heck out of them, make them not know what they are so that they can take advantage and exploit them. Now, I want to be very clear here. This is not the mainstream LGBTQ movement. There are a lot of conservatives that even support that movement. This is a radical agenda made by groomers, and they don't want you to call them groomers, which is a perfect example of why they are groomers. This is what we're doing is to confuse young people, to confuse all people, to make them dumber, make them confused as to what they are. It's a mockery of women's rights. And it actually, it's a mockery of human rights. Yeah. And we should no longer be having and the And you discussion. end up with scandals like the Tavistock Clinic here in London in the UK, 
where they were basically mutilating children, young, you know, kids, teenagers, mutilating their bodies irrevocably. And then it turned out, after it closed, after a scandalous report came out, that 97% of all the patients had other conditions, from autism to depression to other issues, which may have been affecting their ability to think straight about what they wanted to be. And that was, to me, as a father of four kids, utterly horrific, just horrific, that this was going on. And anyone who tried to raise concerns about this, and journalists did, were immediately branded transphobic. And, Esther, this comes back to what we see with, you know, people like J.K. Rowling, who's... I'm no friend of J.K. Rowling. She can't stand me, and I don't like her, right? We, we, it's like fire and water. But on this issue... I've not seen a word she said that is transphobic. Yeah. I've just heard her go, I want to support and protect women's rights. For that, she's been unbelievably hounded, abused, attempts to cancel, which fortunately have backfired. But it's all wrong, this, mm. isn't it? The thing is, and one of the, the shocking things that she's been attacked for is for drawing attention to domestic violence and violence against women. And that's actually the biggest point here. Other than the fact that, you know, that male rapist was allowed to go into a female prison in Scotland, there's a genuine danger about uh, around allowing men into women's spaces, like women's shelters and right. like that, and they can be there just by identifying as a woman and then identifying as a tree the next day. It's right, so, Angelica, do you, I mean, do you understand that part of the argument? I understand that kind of the argument, but I, I mean, like T Tommy said, I don't think this is confusing for children. I think it's giving you freedom of expression and freedom of choice. But how many girls did you know? Like my, my wife was a bit of a tomboy when she was young, right? How many kids do you know, young girls in particular, who are, are tomboys? But it's, if the wrong person gets hold of them and persuades them, actually, what you should start doing is mutilating your body and have a full attempt to become a boy, that's not what most tomboys end up wanting. They end up actually going through puberty, getting older, and then that's it. They become women, right? But if you get hold of these impressionable young minds too early when they're just clowning around being tomboys, that's the danger to me. I don't think the messaging is as extreme as you as you think it is, and I think we we the whip ourselves. Clinic was pretty extreme. I think we whip ourselves into a frenzy thinking uh, thinking these things. And this language that you mentioned at the start of the show, I don't think you hear that language used that often in like everyday speech. Which language? And I think what you were saying. Um, oh no, these are on like... NHS websites. Oh no, no, this is where you're wrong. This is actually NHS websites in many cases. They genuinely call women chest feeders birthing partners. They dare not say anything gender-specific to women in case some trans people don't like it. To which I say, where are the rights of women to be called what they want to be called? Why does all language have to be degendered for a tiny minority of people? I think the problem is there's so much fear around having these kind of conversations and saying the wrong thing, getting it wrong. That means that people can't have conversations that feel kind of progressive about what, what is gender identity, what do, does the future look like, how do we create a compassionate space? So I think to your question at the start, like, what is women and why politicians wouldn't answer it? They're so scared of getting it wrong. And well, I people think are that's... scared because they, they, gives the, the, the mob come for them. Yeah. Exactly. And, 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 and the mob needs to just go away and shut up. Anyway, I think scrap International Women's Day until we can all agree what a woman is. No, I'm sorry. I think there's so many benefits to having International Women's Day. It would it'd be a real shame to do that. Well, if you had your way, everyone would celebrate it by identifying as a woman, even if they weren't. <laughs> well, being a woman. Happy yeah. International Women's Day. I am a woman. It's a farce. Anyway, Angelica, lovely to see you. Thank you very much. Esther, going to see you a bit later on. Tommy, always good to have you over at the pond. International Women's Day. There you are. A fine example of a genuine woman. Correct? You. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Identify as a woman. I am a woman. And that's how this thing works, ladies and gentlemen. Exactly. Thank you, Tommy Lehrer. What's an interesting uh, video? I kind of relate uh, with Pierce Morgan's point of view on what a woman really is. Because we can all tell right now that the world is becoming uh, a very dark place. Even the world is becoming a very dangerous place to bring up our children. Because right now, a lot of information are, are in the public that they can easily influence your, uh, easily influence kids, which I believe is not right. Which I believe is not right. Look at we in this century arguing about what a woman really is. This really shows the world is going backward. The world is becoming dark and darker and darker 
every day, which is the problem. Because if we are going to have a problem defining what a woman really is, and if anyone can just come up one day and say, uh, he no longer want to be a man, he want to be a woman, I, I believe that is totally absorbed. That is totally absorbed to the extent of trying to uh, indoctrinate our children, our kids that are below the age of 18, that are between the age of 15, 10, 9, indoctrinating them that there are a lot of genders. I believe that is totally unacceptable. We all know according to our biology that we have only two genders. It's either you are male or you are female. So you don't have to just come up and try to say you want to identify as male or you want to identify as female whilst you are created as a male or you are created as a female. I believe that is totally the wrong thing to do. And even the example they gave on the issue whereby uh, a male a male rapist was placed uh, in a female prison just because he identified as a female. And at the end of the day, he ended up impregnating the female in the prison. This really shows that a lot of those people, they just come up claiming to be uh, a woman. Why is they know within themselves they are not a woman? A lot of them even claim they are suffering from uh, sexual, uh, they are suffering from gender dysphoria. They are suffering from gender dysphoria. Why is we know that that's not, that's not true? And I, for one, I believe, instead of us trying to, you know, feel pity on those people, trying to relate uh, with those people, it's better we liberate them by telling them the truth. Because a lot of those people, a lot of those people are suffering from mental delusion because what they perceive to be truth is not actually the truth. It's not actually the truth. A woman is a female, a man is a male. That's just a simple thing I believe anyone can understand. And I believe you can't be a man today and you be a woman uh, the next day, you be a, 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 a man the, the, the upper day, I believe that is totally, that's totally wrong. That's totally wrong because right now the country is becoming uh, a dangerous place to bring, uh, to bring up children, to bring up kids just because of this gender problem that is happening right now in the country. Wow. I've really learned a lot. I believe that's part of the reason why Pierce Morgan was asking, can he identify as a black lesbian? And the lady in question that is trying to support uh, the uh, uh, people identifying as whatever they want, he, he, he was offended just because Pierce Morgan said he wants to identify as a black lesbian. Why she was quite okay with any other person identifying as a woman or identifying as a man just to take advantage of other people. I feel that is totally wrong. That is totally unacceptable. We should not allow this. And I've really learned a lot just listening to uh, Piers Morgan and every one of the speaker. I would also like to hear your comments. Let's get the conversation rolling. Don't forget, click on the subscribe button. Click on the like button. Do have a nice day.